take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Now, as I was saying just before the break, there was some very disturbing news about child pedophile rings that was brought up at a press conference in the UK on Friday. And we've got that clip. Let's play that clip real quickly. However, I suppose the one thing it does flag up is the tussle within the coalition to lay claim to the raising of the lower income tax threshold because you talk to institutional paedophile rings excuse operating me, in this me, country me. now. Sorry, I just asked we're going to have to leave you. I just we're asked have to Nick Clegg a question. Stand well, aside, a Norman, we'll, we'll that's right. Cut across you there, Norman, we don't want to uh, talk about that, do we? We want to that. cut that off. The there. guy came up and he essentially yeah. photobombed that press conference. And what had happened was he had confronted Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg and said, what about the pedophile rings that I told you about four years ago? And instead of giving him a response, Nick Clegg physically ran away from the problem, just like he's been running away from it as a prime minister, as a politician for four years. But it's something you can't run away from. This is something that we've shown over and over again with the Jimmy Seville situation. You had high ups in the BBC and Scotland Yard turning these investigations away. We've seen this, though, not just the UK. It's not just a UK problem. This is happening in our government, in America. We've seen, look at the Franklin scandal. Look at what happened with the allegations about Michael Aquino, Satanist, who worked for the NSA. Look at what happened with the United Nations. Look at what happened with Hillary Clinton and the State Department and an ambassador in Belgium. We have that report. I did that on the nightly news on Friday. That's up on Alex Jones's YouTube channel. Take a look at that report. It's very powerful. And then today, I come in and look at the news, and we see that in Mexico, this drug cartel, the Knights Templar, is recruiting as having their recruits eat children's hearts as part of an initiation rite. See, they're not just using the children as sex slaves. They are also using them as an organ trafficking ring. That's where the drug guys are headed. That's the pervasive evil behind this. And yet it's happening everywhere. UK, US, UN. It doesn't matter whether it's Democrat or Republican. It doesn't matter whether it's left or right. These people at the top, you have to understand what the nature of these people are, the dark, satanic nature, the dark side of this. 
And so we have that report on InfoWars. I want you to take a look at that. It's very heartbreaking to see the comments there that people have about Child Protective Services. And one of the last things that we had there was a report about what happened in Portugal. And of course, there they did actually roll it back. That's what should be happening in many places that these people should be caught. But we do have a report that is a little bit on the light side. I don't want to finish with something quite so heavy. We have, of course, Piers Morgan, and he's challenged Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear to a boxing charity match. But where did we ever hear that before? Well, Alex challenged Piers Morgan to that after the comments that Buzz Bissinger and Piers Morgan made to him. And we've got a report that we ran on Friday. Let's air a little bit of that. Well, speaking right. of feuds, you have this contentious debate with this uh, gentleman, Alex Jones. Yes. I saw this on your show. Um, tell people who he is. Well, Pierce Morgan is back in the news again, desperately trying to get attention. He's challenging Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear to a fight for charity. Back when Piers Morgan and Buzz Bissinger were talking about how they'd like to invite Alex to a boxing match and then shoot him. Automatic weapon, much less a handgun. But what do you need a semi-automatic weapon for? The only reason I think you need it is Pierce challenge Alex Jones to a boxing match, show up with a semi-automatic that you got <laughs> legally, and pop him. I'd love to see that. <laughs> now, Jeremy Clarkson isn't taking Piers Morgan seriously. But Alex Jones is. He had this to say today. I got serious news to get to in your phone calls. But first off, I want to get into this. And I'm going to have the Nightly News do a piece on this because it is interesting. And then, and then they can get where Buzz Bissinger on the show said he wanted to kill me and that Piers Morgan should kill me. And Piers Morgan said, yes, I want to kill him. So at that point, just like I challenged him to a boxing match on the show before, I said, I challenge you and Buzz Bissinger, who likes to wear females' clothes, that's fine. He can dress as a woman. And we, both of them can actually, because that's about what they are. I'm not knocking women, but as men, they're not very manly. And they can both get in the ring against me, either bare knuckle or with gloves. We can do it in Vegas. I guarantee you pay-per-view, as big as that story was, it would get picked up. It would have millions that would pay on pay-per-view, and we could give the proceeds to charity. You notice they never took the challenge up, and I know he tweeted back at me and stuff about it, uh, you know, basically saying no thanks. You need to accept the challenge, coward. You're washed up. You're out of the United States. Everybody hates you. You're going to do a once-a-month magazine show for CNN, as I predicted they would give you. Hiding their mistakes, you know, acting like you're not a total failure, taking a show from 2 million viewers to 300 and something thousand. You know, Morgan, I will literally beat the hell out of you and Buzz Bissinger. I tell you what, let's go further. I, Andy Kaufman would do this. I'll fight the, the ambassador's daughter who said she wants to kill me too on the show. Buzz Bissinger, so two women. I'll fight her, Buzz Bissinger, and you, Morgan. I'm serious. I will go in that ring and I will demolish all three of you within three rounds, I guarantee you, I will annihilate you within three rounds. Guaranteed, cowards. All three of you, I'm serious, in the ring, I will come in there and stomp the hell out of all of you, including your tart. Because she wants to talk about how she wants me dead and everything. Well, get in the ring with me, you wench. I will take all three of you on. First thing I'll do is punch her in the solar plexus, taking her out. Then I'll go over to Morgan and I will absolutely start just battering his head with both gloves, and then I'm going to turn on Bissinger. All three of you, all three of you, come on. Quite a man being able to take on that little brunette. They don't call me McGarrett for nothing, folks. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that this guy's a coward. So Everybody knows I challenged him to that. Well, now the host of Top Gear that looks just like him in the UK, it was probably a stage publicity stunt. He said, if he dies, he dies. Piers Drago Morgan challenges Jeremy Clarkson after he challenged him to a fight for charity in the ring. And so that's now in the news. It's a 50,000 pound to charity for Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson boxing fight. You know, I think Clarkson will win. You can just look at the look in that guy's eyes and the size of his neck compared to Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is a complete ninny. And unless the thing's staged, I think Morgan's going to get his head butt handed to him. So V12 Shots LTD, a company that recently launched a protein drink, the V12 Protein Shot, is offered to donate 
50,000 pounds or about $80,000 to help for Heroes Charity in Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson's agreed to fight. And they've now agreed to fight. Listen, $50 million is what a Piers Morgan, Alex Jones fight would raise. Seriously, that, that, that was voted in, in, in LA Times, Time Magazine, you name it, by voters multiple times. The number one political story of 2013. Can you believe that? The number one viral media event, multiple places, thousands of newspapers, every show out there. Piers Morgan versus Alex Jones. I challenged him to a boxing match right then. Uh, $80,000, really? I guarantee you, I've got the connections. I know Dana White. I know Joe Rogan. I've hung out with Dana White repeatedly. I'll guarantee you I can make phone calls, and I guarantee you they, they're businessmen. I guarantee you they could get the Vegas match on, and it would be on television and pay-per-view and dominate. It would air on television the next day and be on channels all over the country. But, but no, Piers Morgan will not allow his career to be destroyed because he knows I will go in that ring and I will beat the living hell out of him. Oh, man, I would love to get in there with him. Just, oh, 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 man, I would love it. So I know you're a coward, Morgan. You, the woman, and the other woman. I'll take on you and the two women. You and Buzz Bissinger and the other woman. That would add to it. Maybe we'd make 100 mil. Give it to charity. We could give it to Salvation Army. How's that sound? You probably don't like that. That's a Christian group. In fact, you, you know what? You're, you're a coward, but let me say this. They'll want to pay for it in Vegas. Let's say a third of it goes to the promoters, everybody, and then and then what's, what's left, 90% goes to charity. You can have... Well, there you go. We're going to see what happens with that. I would love to see that. You know, of course, Jeremy Clarkson, the guy that Piers Morgan is trying to go into, has pretty much has Piers Morgan's number. He says... His only qualification appears to be that he's the very embodiment of evil. But, of course, that's exactly what Rupert Mur Murdoch was looking for to put him in charge of his biggest newspaper. That's how Jeremy Clarkson describes him in the U.K. Now, this hour has been brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com. If you want to do something for your family, the path to liberty starts with attaining a level of self-reliance. You can get top-rated customer service, top-quality products, incre incredibly reasonable prices. That's MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Now, of course, tomorrow, Alex Jones is going to be back on the regular scheduled time, Monday through Friday. That's 11 Central, noon Eastern. So don't miss. We're going to be right back, and we're going to see what will Piers Morgan do. Or as Jeremy Clarkson says, that's Piers Morgan. Spell that capital M, small organ. We'll, find, we'll have more information about that as the week develops. Don't count on him taking him up on that fight, though. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up.